Adobe's Creative Suites are the industry standard tools that are the best way to prepare for career success. We've seen tremendous growth of the Creative Suite in education. This reflects the growing demand for students to develop skills like creativity, critical thinking, collaboration, and digital literacy and expression. But we deliver more than just software. We also offer curriculum, professional development, certification, and of course, affordable pricing. Let's hear more about what we're doing for education from those who work in this space. And there's the lights. Let me uh, sitting this close to the mic. See, Can you hear me okay. now? Can you hear me cool. now? I'll just start talking and we'll see if it works. So you want one like concise thing, right? If I could teach like this. Okay. Uh, I know what's going to happen when I show my students CS5. They're going to go out of their minds. There are new features that are going to allow you to do things that honestly you couldn't do before. Their first reaction will be, holy smokes, this isn't Kansas anymore. I'm going to get a standing ovation. And then they will start exploring it and start realizing that there's a lot more under the hood than they ever expected. As a teacher, I really feel that my job is to enable students to participate in the 21st century with some fluency in digital media art. Well, I think we're in the digital age. Media and digital media have grown up. I've been a firm believer for years that if you don't get digital, you get dead. We're seeing not just a school of design using our products, but the school of engineering, schools of medicine, history students, biology students, all using Adobe tools in order to express themselves. My students come back after they've graduated and let me know, hey, I'm an English major or an accounting major, and I'm still using the design skills that I learned from your classes, I can show, not just tell. Students heading out into the world have to have proficiency with the tools. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We recognize in the design world, it's the standard tool. We need to teach the students that software so that they can be relevant in the industry. It continually raises the bar for us because we want to make sure that what we're doing is cutting edge and we keep pushing the envelope. Now what we're seeing is really how important the entire creative suite is and how as an educator, it's really important that I develop curriculum that's going to give a well-rounded employee out to the marketplace. The students that I have now really are excited about participating in digital media, not because they want to all be filmmakers or graphic designers. They just want to participate. That's their only goal while they're here is give me the most amazing tools I can possibly use so that I can articulate my ideas in the easiest and most compelling way. Way. Adobe really has made the life of a teacher much easier. It's really the combination of the products and technology along with curriculum, professional development, and certification that make Adobe a really valuable partner to educators. Curriculum hints, assets for demonstration, I've got Adobe TV. Really, it allows you to get into the process of what you became a teacher for. You wanted to teach, you want to help kids be creative. I don't think there's anything that's more exciting than on the first day of a class to walk in and to tell your students, oh, by the way, you can get this creative suite software for just a real fraction of the price. We're excited about many things, including the Flash platform, specifically with the design and animation part of things. Actually being able to publish native iPhone applications using the packager for iPhone in Flash CS5 is a game changer. If you've got a studio art background and you're pretty comfortable with Illustrator and Photoshop, but you're a little bit intimidated by HTML and JavaScripting, and you want to bridge into that web design field with Design Premium, you can now do that with Flash Catalyst. The first time I saw the content aware fill, honest to God, I thought they were just faking it. I can take something out of the background and instead of leaving a hole in the image, it's gonna be filled in with appropriate content. With the bristle brush, you're gonna see new effects that have never been done before. My faculty has just started working with some of the rotoscoping tools in After Effects. Everyone's really excited about what that's going to mean. The most exciting thing to me is the fact that I can do animation now in InDesign. So it's going to be just a blast to watch the students get hold of it and basically drive a truck through what they already know. That's really what's exciting is that it seems like CS5 is going to let them pretty much do whatever they want. We know that you're going to be as excited about this product as we are. CS5 is terrific and we're really looking forward to hearing your thoughts on it. Thanks a lot. Woo! See you five! Uh, <laughs> and that's kind of the way it works, isn't it?